Yo! Finally. So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause and separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTUS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate, ready to bust some Roman heads. Yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So that was on my phone. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out. Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Behold, our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999? Absolutely. of technology. A 3D printer. This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of lethal weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big-ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer, too. 
but better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sex go where it has the most impact. You heard of Prime 8? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Prime 8. Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to. You know. Nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. The app's downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DeadSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Hipster merchant! <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our scribble. Followers mean the people, computers, Don't which let boosts them our processing our power, which lets us do bigger and better ops. Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. He's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. And maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. 
must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks, because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a soundboard. Ooh, I love this. Marcus, guys, the Cyber Driver trailer just dropped. Oh, yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the Hacker's Waves. I'm on my way. Coming up after the... I've got a new Bobo track the world has never heard before. How's the soundboard coming? Yo, a Bobo Dakes, bitch. <laughs> Perfect. So how do we contact Karkani? I'm going to visit his mansion. I need to see his face when we do this.
Time to mess with the farmer clown. This ass face deserves it. Hello? Sup? Uh, sup? Who is this? Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. Holy shit. I'm a huge fan. Are you taking me up on my offer? Yeah, I laid down some hot tracks. Really? Fantastic. Yup. Can I get a sample? On the raid. That's dope. That's your best work yet. You're welcome. And this is exclusive, right? No one else gets this, just me? Yup. So how do you want payment? The bitch better have my money. I do. I just need to know how to route it to you. Y'all, check it. Ah, there. That's the routing number? Yup. Uh-huh. Sent and confirmed. You got it. This is awesome, man. This is like a dream come true. Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. What? They say God made man in his own image. But God made himself in Bobo's image. What are you talking about? Yo, bitch. It's Bobo Dakes. No. No. No, 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 no. Whoa! What the shit? doing to me? Why me? Come on! I'm a good guy! It's just business! I got shareholders, bitches! <laughs> Guys! Guys, he just, he just donated 20 million to leukemia research. Marcus, have you seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, hey, pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. You're right. We need quiet. Have, have you seen it yet? No, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. 
in a world where technology connects everything. I'm not looking for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. Simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber driver. Hit him with the code, Flurry Chip. Jimmy Siska is... Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me, or die. Devon Von Devon. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devon. They're just script kitties. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber driver. <laughs> Action hero, badass. Talking car, admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? We cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is going to help us do it. Real? I wouldn't have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec. And we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios. We are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is Cyber Driver. Cyber Driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence. And that we can't excuse. It seems like you could do with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, We'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. You guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. They're fun to laugh at. Cool, you said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know, you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would get. And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios.
What's new with you? Go going on a run down south pretty soon. Okay, guys, I'm in. What do you think you're doing?
Here we go. Nice. The not-so-secret emails. You don't want to be here, kid. Authorized personnel only. You ain't authorized, punk. We got us a dead second, Drew.
That's it. He's trying to get a hard line to the president's software. Control, alt, delete. Motherfucker. Chip. No! Chip. Jesus, I thought you were dead. Or offline. Or whatever. Consider me defrag, Devon, death sect. Death sect. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We need these hackers on our side. What the doodle am I even reading here, Gary? Is this... The script is gibberish defrag. Defrag, is that even a thing? Am, am I stressing the right syllable on defragged? I found it. We got the full script of CyberDriver. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. I don't believe it. Guys, I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan. And when it rains, where are they supposed to go? I don't know. I, I, I... 